can see here uh, we both we have two alerts in yellow both the velocity and acceleration so let's again depend on our fault detection engine and see what it says and in this particular case it's not giving me one problem it's giving me two it's telling me I've got a 1x component in the radial direction to check for rotor imbalance but also bearings are unsatisfactory so let's drill down into that and see what we see and again we're visited with a similar um, waterfall plot here that's showing us that we're having a tooling imbalance problem that's coming and going coming and going and I even see a false reading here I can see that somebody took a blank reading which should probably be erased but it's not troublesome at this point but we can see uh, again we have a tooling imbalance problem that may be causing a bearing problem so let's drill down into the acceleration and look at bearings and see what's going on there with the uh, waterfall plot and again we see it's starting starting getting a little worse and then here at the last reading that was taken we've got a high peak right in the center of that bearing mass that's starting to plague us along with this tall one times running speed that is becoming a problem so again you can see the power of this tool and we're just crossing the yellow threshold so what we're seeing here is we drill into our last reading and spectrum yes we do have bearing defect frequencies but we're only at 2.4 G's and we have a large peak at running speed which is probably an imbalance that is causing this bearing defect to start rapidly uh, degrading over time so this is something that we can do to prevent this from happening we can go back and balance this asset or so solve its tooling problem and not put unbalanced tools into it and we can stop this bearing degradation to happen or what I call this is being a very early onset detection of bearing failure this is probably six to eight months in advance based on what you've seen earlier where we've hit 10 G's and we need to remove that asset whether it be a spindle motor pump or whatever it might be um, at that late stage this is early stage failure so we can catch things six and eight months ahead of time with this application so uh, please consider this as being uh, a very important part of the tool set that you have here uh, we thank you very much for your attention if there's any more questions at all please reach out to us on the web at www.gtipredictive.com or reach out to us at our number at 603-669-5993 i thank you very much for your attention Thank you.